Hello again, everyone. Go ahead and open up that PDF that's attached to this assignment right away today. We are all finished learning about cycles in nature. Today, we are going to take a test to see how well we remember everything that we learned in this domain. The very first page on that PDF should look like this one. Our first test, the first part of our test, is two pages. So you have two pages that look like this with thumbs ups and thumbs downs. Our first part of our test will be about the vocabulary words that we heard in our stories about cycles in nature. I will read the vocabulary word and then ask you a question about it. If the answer to my question is yes, I want you to circle or fill in the thumbs up. If the answer to my question is no, I want you to circle or fill in the thumbs down. I will repeat each question only once. If you need to pause or rewind, you can do so at any point. I'm going to turn off our screen so it's not blinding me while I'm reading those questions. There we go. All right, my friends, are you ready? Number one on part one is about the term life cycle. Is a life cycle the stages a living thing goes through from birth to adult? Yes or no? Number two, rotation. Does Earth's rotation cause daytime and nighttime? Number three, hemisphere. Do we live in the southern hemisphere of the Earth? Number four, revolution. Does it take Earth one year to make one revolution around the sun? Number five, precipitation. Is wind a form of precipitation? Number six, germination. Is germination the stage when a plant flowers and makes new seeds? Number seven, se seasons. Do seasons happen in a cycle, meaning that they happen over and over in the same order? Number eight, humidity. Is humidity the dryness in the air? Number nine, metamorphosis. Do humans go through metamorphosis? Number 10, condensation. When water droplets are formed from water vapor, is condensation occurring? Go ahead and scroll down to the second page. Number 11, protective. Are hens protective of their baby chicks? Number 12, transparent. If you can't see through a door, does that mean that the door is transparent? Thirteen, burrow. Do birds burrow by flying south for the winter? Fourteen, 
replenished. If you pour more water into your empty water cup, does that mean that it is replenished? And 15, thrive. Does a plant tend to thrive when it has sunlight, water, and warmth? All right, my friends, when you are ready, you can go back and listen to any other questions that you need to have repeated. When you are ready, go ahead and scroll down to the next page, our third page, which should look like this. On this page, we have three animals that we learned about their life cycles. We learned about the life cycle of a butterfly, the life cycle of a frog, and the life cycle of a chicken. For this part of the test, I am going to read a fact that is true about one of the life cycles of one of these three animals. You are going to circle the animal that my fact is true about. For each question, the statement I give will only be true about one of these animals. So you should only have one circled on each line. Some of them will be used more than once, so I'll say more than one true statement at some point. All right, my friends. So remember, if I say something that is true about the life cycle of a butterfly, you'll circle the butterfly. If I say something that is true about the life cycle of a chicken, you'll circle the chicken. And if what I say is about the life cycle of a frog, you'll circle the frog. All right, I'm going to turn that off again so I don't go blind. Let's start with number one. This animal changes from a fish-like larva with gills called a tadpole to a four-legged adult with lungs. Is that a butterfly, a frog, or a chicken? Number two, this animal hatches from an egg as a larva in the form of a caterpillar. Three, this animal uses its egg tooth to hatch from an egg that has a shell, a yolk, and an albumin. Number four, this animal goes through stages of metamorphosis from tadpole to adult. And number five, this animal changes from a larva to a pupa to an adult insect with a head, body, and wings. All right, my friends, when you have answered all of those ones and you're ready for the next and last part of our test, go ahead and scroll down to that last page. On this page, we've got some blank lines and a frame. I want you to pick one of the cycles in nature that we have learned about. I want you to write the title or the name of that life cycle. So you could pick the cycle of day and night, the cycle of the seasons, the life cycle of a flowering plant, the life cycle of a tree, the life cycle of a frog, the life cycle of a chicken, the life cycle of a butterfly, or the water cycle. You can pick any of those cycles that we talked about. And you're going to write the title on this first line. In the next couple of lines, you are going to tell me about the cycle that you have chosen. What are the stages of the cycle? And what is happening in each of those stages? After you have told me about the life cycle you have chosen, then you are going to draw me a diagram or a picture of those different stages. Remember, labels are important in a diagram and your picture should be labeled with the correct names of the stages. 
try to use the correct names that we talked about for those life cycles or other cycles in nature in your writing as well. When you are done with this last and final part of the test, go ahead and turn your test in and you are all done for today. Thank you.